assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are doing good you are utilizing this time in a productive way i ex also expect to you that you are enjoying these video lectures and you are taking the benefit from these video lectures as much as you can now in today's video lecture we will do question number eight and it, i will read the question abc is a rectangle in which diagonals ac bisects angle a as well as angle c show that abc is a square diagonal bct b diagonal bd bisects angle b as well as angle d this is a rectangle and it is uh, ac bisects angle a this is ac it bisects angle a as well as angle c that means let us name it angle 1 equals angle 2 angle 3 equals angle 4 is it bisector means two equal parts two equal angles and uh, we have to show that first part abcd is a square abcd is a square so for that we need to prove that this is a rectangle means this side equals this side this side equals this side first of all so, and each angle should be 90 as this is a rectangle so we need not to show that these all angles are equal because a square is a parallelogram having each angle a square is a rectangle actually having each angle 90 um a square is a parallelogram also you know it i we have discussed it uh, uh, already and square a, uh, we need to show that now that this is a parallel this is a square it means we have to show that each side is equal opposite sides are equal now we have to show that these two sides are equal so it is very simple if you look if we are able to prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle easily one of the sides will be equal and we are through so we will write diagonal given diagonal ac bisectors angle a and angle c of quadrilateral of quadrilateral a b c d to prove sorry of rectangle of rectangle to prove a b c d is a square a b c d is a square how can you prove it so we will write we will make the if we are able to prove that no need to show here congruence with the help of congruence no need to do that we can easily do it have a look proof in triangle a b c so this is the triangles concept which we have read previously uh, it's very very important to look again and again concepts previous concepts are uh, getting repeated here angle one equals uh, angle one equals angle two is it angle one equals angle two is it yes it is and angle three equals angle four angle three equals angle four is it of course now have a look but this angle one plus angle two this is 90 because whole this angle is 90 so it means how much is this 45 because angle one is called angle two sum is 90 each part is equal to each other one another so it means that each part will be 45 45 angle 1 plus angle 2 is 90 whole angle is 90 as this is a rectangle but these are also equal sum of two angles is 90 both are equal each should be 90 90 is equal 45 45 90 by 2 45 90 by 2 45 so i hope you will get it so here from the, uh, no need to sorry just uh, write it proof we will now we will write it in triangle a b c now angle one is what angle one is 45 angle 3 is what it is 45 so angle one equals angle 3 angle one equals angle 3 you know it if in a triangle two angles are equal their corresponding their opposite sides are also equal which side is opposite to angle one it is b c which side is opposite to angle 3 it is a b b c equals a b sorry b c equals a b but b c equals what a d why because this is a rectangle opposite sides of rectangle are equal this is a b sorry a d and 
AB equals what? DC. Why? Because opposite sides of a parallelogram or rectangle are equal is equal to DC. So we have proved that AB equals BC is equal to D, DA. Uh, DC. It means all sides are equal and each angle is always also already 90 because this is a rectangle. So ABCD is a square. This is part number first. Second part you have shown that diagonal BD bisects angle B as well as angle D. Diagonal BD bisects angle B as well as angle D. So how can you prove that? How can you have to show that if you draw a diagonal here, if you draw a diagonal here, you have to show that uh, it bisects. Uh, here let us name it angle 3, sorry angle 3, angle 5, angle 6, angle 7 and angle 8. You have to prove that these angles are equal. Angle 7 equals angle 8. For that, how can you prove it? It is very simple. You can easily prove it. Remember, recall the property that di diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other at right angle. So you can easily make these two triangles congruent from here. You can conclude that angle 7 equals angle 8 CPCT. Similarly, make these two triangles congruent. You can easily say that by CPCT, these triangles are Con, uh, these angles are equal i left this part as a home assignment for you i hope you will do it if you still find any difficulty in understanding this question or in doing this question please let me know that we will keep this session till now and in the next video lectures we will do some more questions or concepts regarding this thank you class